Hello, dear students. I am Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. So today we will solve another case study question from three dimensional geometry equation with the plane and line. And I think this is a most tricky question for all of you. So uh, read the questions very carefully as I suggest. The mobile tower stands at the top of a hill. Consider the surface on which the tower stands as a plane having points a 1 comma 0 comma 2 the b 3 comma minus 1 comma 1 and c 1 comma 2 comma 1 on it the mobile tower is tied with three cables from the point a b c such that it stands vertically on the ground the top of the tower is at p 0.231 so this is the top of the tower and a b c are the points it is as shown in the figure now the question is, uh, based on this, you have to answer the following questions. One is the equation of the plane passing through the points A, B, C. Four options are given. Two, the height of the tower from the ground. Four options are given. I did not read all the uh, uh, answers. You can pause the video. You can uh, take the answers and you can try yourself. Three is the equation of the perpendicular line drawn from the top of the tower to the ground. Again, four options are given. The coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the top of the tower to the ground are uh, four points are given. Four, uh, and the area of the triangle ABC, four options are given. Let us read the question again. A mobile tower stands at the top of the hill. Consider the surface on which the tower stands in a plane having the points A, B, C, the mobile tower tied with three cables from points A, B, C such that it stands vertically on the ground. The top of the tower is at the point 2, 3, 1 as shown in the figure. Let us see the figure. So this is the figure. A is your A is 1, 2, 0, 2. B is 3 comma minus 1 comma 1. This is B. C is here at your 1 to 1. And this, this point is P. That will be 2, 3, 1. You have to, first question is the equation of the plane passing through the points A, B, C. These options are given. 3x minus 2y plus 4z is equal to minus 11. 3x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to 11, 3x minus 2y minus 4z is equal to 11, minus 3x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to minus 11. Now I'm writing uh, when three points are given, what is the plane containing these three points if the points are x1, y1, z1, one point, second is x2, y2, z2, and if third point is x3, y3, z3, then the equation plane is x minus x1, y minus y1, z minus z1, and x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. And in the third line of the determinant will be x3 minus x1, y3 minus y1, z3 minus z1 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the plane. If I put this form point a, b, c, I'll get x minus 1, y minus 0, z minus 2, first line. Then b minus a, b minus a will be 3 minus 1, minus 1 minus 0, 1 minus 2. And c minus a will be here, 1 minus 1. 2 minus 0 and 1 minus 2. So this is equal to 0. Or if I'll simplify it, it will be x minus 1, y, z minus 2, 2 minus 1, minus 1, 0, 2, minus 1. This is equal to 0. You could simplify this. You could simplify this, it will be x minus it will be x minus 1 into your 1 
plus 2, that will be 3, minus y, I'm finding the determinant value, this will be minus 2, and plus z minus 2 is equal to into 4 is equal to 0. Let us simplify this. I'll get 3x minus 3 plus 2y plus 4z minus 8 is equal to 0. Or if I'll simplify, I'll get 3x, 3x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to 11. So this is the answer. So what is the answer? B will be the answer of this question. Now coming to part two. Part two is height of the tower from the ground. So plane we have already got 3x plus 2y plus 4z minus 11 is 0. I will get the distance from this point P 2, 3, 1 on this plane 3x plus 2y plus 4z minus 11 is 0. So the formula I'll apply ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d whole upon under root a square plus b square plus c square whole modulus. This is the distance. So where point is x1, y1, z1 and the plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to j. So it will be 3 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 4 into 1 minus 11 upon under root to 3 square plus 2 square plus 4 square under root modulus. So this will be 6 plus 6, 12, 12 plus 12 minus 11, 1. This is 4 into, sorry, 4 into 1, not 4 into 11. This is 4 into 1. Then the answer will be almost 6 plus 6, 12 plus 4, 16 minus 5. So it will be 5 over 1 and it will be 9 plus 4, 13 plus 16 under root 29. So 5 upon root 29, that means A is answer of part 2. Next is part 3. Part 3 is find the equation of the perpendicular line drawn from the top of the tower to the ground. So that means if this is the perpendicular, the point is x, y, z, then your uh, the direction ratio of PQ will be x minus 2, y minus 3, and z minus one, where the point is two, three, one. So PQ is the direction ratio x minus two, y minus three, z minus one. And this is proportional to the direction ratio of the normal to the plane. Normal we have already found out, three x plus two y plus four z is equal to 11. So normal is the direction ratio three, two, four, so they are parallel. PQ is parallel to the normal. So their direction ratio is proportional means I can write X minus two ratio three is equal to Y minus three ratio two is equal to Z minus one upon four. Now you have to select the options. One, it is not the answer because it is Y plus three. Y minus three here it is minus per, so this is not the option x minus 2, y minus 3, z minus 1, 4. So C is the answer of this question. So we did part 1, part 2, part 3. B has answer uh, minus uh, A, B. Uh, 2 has A. Then C has D. It's not D, sorry. It is B. Now coming to Question part four. In part four, 
this is the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the top of the tower to the ground. So here big big answers are given. So let us see whether uh, how we can do this. So as I discussed, the foot of the perpendicular related to x, y, and z, and the plane we have already found out as 4x. What is the plane? Plane was 3x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to 11. And the PQ perpendicular, PQ perpendicular, we have already found out x minus 2 upon let us uh, see once what is the relation x minus 1 upon 1 because this is the point x minus 1 upon 1 is equal to sorry this is x minus 2 upon 3 and i will copy this one x minus 2 x minus 2 upon what is the answer? Let me let me find out again. Uh, I may be wrong. x minus 2 upon uh, 3 is equal to y minus 3 upon 2 is equal to z minus 1 upon 4. So I'll take let this be lambda. Then I'll write x in terms of lambda, 3 lambda plus 2. Then I'll write y, 2 lambda plus 3. That means each ratio I'm equating with lambda. I am writing x will be 3 lambda plus 2. Then similarly, I'll equate this with lambda. So y minus 3 is equal to 2 lambda. y is equal to 2 lambda plus 3. z is equal to 4 lambda plus 1. And this x, y, z is on the plane. So I'll put them in equation to the plane and I'll find the lambda so that I'll get the x, y, z that is the foot of the perpendicular. I have taken the foot of the perpendicular, let it be x, y, z, the point is q. So first I got the direction ratio pq, it was x minus 2, y minus 3, z minus 4 and it was parallel to the normal. Normal is the direction ratio 3, 2, 4 and they are proportional, so ratio remains same. I make them equal to the lambda. So x I wrote in term of lambda, y in term of lambda, z in term of lambda. Then I put this x, y, z value in this plane. So it will be 3 into 3 lambda plus 2 in term of x, I put 3 lambda plus 2. In place of y, I put 3, 2 lambda plus 3. In terms of 4, z, I put 4 lambda plus 1 is equal to 11. What I'm getting, I'm getting lambda. So it will be 9 lambda plus nine, uh, 6 plus 4 lambda plus 6 plus 16 lambda plus 4 is equal to 11. So you can simplify 9 plus 4, 13, 29 lambda and it will be minus 5. So lambda will be minus 5 by 29. After getting this, after getting this 5 by 29, minus 5 by 29, I'll go for this x, y, z. x is how much? x is equal to 3 lambda plus 2. So I'll put uh, x is equal to 3 into minus 5 by 2 plus 2. 2, I'll get minus 15 plus 58 by 29. So it will be 43 upon 29. Then I'll go for y. y is equal to how much? 2 lambda plus 3. So 2 into minus 5 by 29 plus 3. So this will be minus 10 by 29 plus 3. It will be minus 10 plus 87 by 29, it will be 77 by 29. So I got first, I got second. Now I can go for the answer instead of by putting Z because let me check whether from these two I can get the answer or not. 43 by 29, 
in A and B for 50 by 29 is there. Now check this second one. Second one is 77 by 29. So my D is the answer of this question. So I am not getting your third one, but if you, uh, if you have time, then you can go for Z. Z is equal to 4 into lambda minus 5 by 29 plus 1. So this will be minus 20 by 29 plus 1. That will be 9 by 29. So yes, this is correct. Now coming to fifth one. Fifth one is the area of triangle A, B, C. Will be. So uh, in comparison to four, this fifth question is uh, easier and short. Uh, so if there you have to attempt four parts, so I'll suggest you to go for five instead of four. Because here I will apply A, B, C. A, B, C. I'll apply the area of triangle ABC is equal to half AB cross AC. So now half, what is AB vector? AB vector will be your AB vector is B minus A. So AB is equal to 3 minus 1, 2Y cap minus J cap plus minus K cap. And what is AC vector? AC will be C minus A. C minus A means 1 minus 1, 0 I plus 2 J plus minus 1 K. Next, I'll go for their vector product. So I'll write I, uh, I'm writing here I, J, K, and here I'll get 2 minus 1, 1 minus 1 and 0, 2, minus 1. So you will simplify. I'm getting how many j? It will be i into i into 1 plus 2, 3, 3i. Next, minus j, it will be minus j minus 2, so plus 2j. And for k, I'll get 4k. Okay, so this is AB cross AC. Now getting its magnitude, it will be 3 square plus 2 square, 4 square under root. It is square root 29. We have already calculated 9 plus 4 plus 16 square root. So the answer will be root 29 by 2. So root 29 2 B is the answer. So we got all the parts answer. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for liking my uh, videos. Thank you.